The book as a whole is, I think, put together to give a particular theological witness to that time of extreme crisis in Israel's history, and then the time of overwhelming renewal with the uh, return from Babylonian captivity, 6th century BC. The, uh, uh, and there are several places in the book that draw the connections in, so that the reader can understand that it's deliberately moving from here to there. A key one would be the judgment of blindness and deafness and closed upness of Isaiah 6 because of the corruption of that time, and then the radical opening of all that in the latter part of the book where you get direct repetition of words. Everything that was closed in part one is open in part two, and you get this grand movement from God's judgment to God's uh, saving acts.